What's up ladies and gentlemen? It's out here in the shop cleaning up a little bit. Uh, got a damn mess. Anyway, I was out here in the shop and I was getting ready to work on the Bibster, filming y'all some content. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I can make a short little video right quick. Um, came across something last week. Actually, the gentleman that makes these things has been trying to get me some for about a month. You have seen his products on this channel before because he makes billet CNC, maybe they're not billet, maybe it's not made of billet, but it's CNC made um, turbo flanges. So if you watched the video where I mounted the turbo and started doing some of the exhaust, exhaust work, you probably remember seeing this flange right here by Parker Speed. So, Parker Speed. So that is the T6 version on that. Also got a, let's see. Also got a T4 flange, same way. You kind of get the feel for what that looks like. In fact, let's see if I can pull this thing out one-handed. Maybe not. There we go. So, there you go. Parker Speed. So he makes these flanges. He's got a bunch of different versions. So, like this one is a T4 flange, all stainless, uh, set up for a three inch tube. The T6 flange I got is. Uh, it's a split split housing version, and it's set up for dual two and a halfs. If I'm not mistaken, he has other versions as well. Um, and I think he's actually even modified them slightly since these. So anyway, Parker Speed, you can find him on Instagram. Just a local guy. No big, fancy, uh, multi-million dollar shop, whatever. He's just, he's just living out his passion making badass parts. So, but this is not what I wanted to show you. Um, what I want to show you is, he's now making these bad boys. So, you ask, what is that? Well, these are mounting brackets. So for instance, this one here is also stainless. Okay. So like say you wanted to mount your turbo. You could just weld this little tab onto here like so. And then uh, this thing just takes a one inch tube. So you could kind of so you can kind of route your tubing however you want to to kind of make a gusset to hold this piece and then you weld this to your turbo flange and, and you know, the flange itself is welded to all your turbo piping. You want to take it off, you just take out these two little cap screws. These two pieces are self-aligned so they have like little, little tabs on the inside where they self-align and then you can pull off all your hot side your mounting piece stays there. You want to put it back together, lines itself up, more screws. So that in itself is amazing. Um, I kind of made a version of this myself on the Bibster build, but uh, I mean, come on now, that's freaking way better than what I did. So you got that. Well then what he also did is he expanded it. So this is basically the same thing with an aluminum top. So if you wanted to say mount an intercooler, um, you know, a tank, some kind of water tank, anything really, anything that's aluminum or stainless, you can mount it. So if like your intercoolers or whatever, you could do a catch can setup, you could do whatever you wanted. He's got wider ones. 
So like this, you could literally put that on one side of an intercooler, do one on the other side, and then just some one inch tubing. You have brackets to hold whatever it is that you wanna do. So I think these things are amazing. And uh, yeah, just wanted to show him a little bit of love. Y'all go check him out. Go support a local boy. Parker Speed, like I said, you can find him on Instagram. He may be on YouTube. And I think all of his stuff also is for sale at uh, Race, Race Parts Solutions. Race Part Solutions. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you can get any combination you want, they're all the same price. So you can get stainless with the, with the bracket, you can get aluminum with the bracket, I think you can get any size. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's how it works out. All right guys, that's all I got. Now, time for me to get to work on this thing. See if I can't uh, finish up this back section a little bit more. Just placed an order for sheet metal. Got some more aluminum coming, some more steel. Enough to do the back side of this and then the firewall as well. Firewall is the next thing on my list. Get rid of all this nastiness. So anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. Y'all go check out Parker Speed. See you on Friday. Go do work, son.